Hey guys, I'm Copeland Tucker here with my buddy Travis Ragsdale. Uh, we're both super cast today, <laughs> drinking my iced coffee. Welcome to my uh, second edition of the uh, weekly political wrap up. Wasn't there last week, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I can do catch up later on, but a lot went on today and this week uh, and probably in the next two days of the week in politics. So me and Travis are gonna break it down. So Travis, first of all, how are you doing this morning? I'm good, man, how are you? I'm excited, good. Excited about the, uh, the newscast tonight. I am too, I, and you're doing weather, right? I am doing weather, I'm yeah. doing weather. So nothing exciting going on in weather though. This stuff yeah. is a lot more exciting. I know, politics is always exciting. Weather can be yeah. kind of exciting sometimes, but okay, what I found exciting, Travis, was uh, recently a poll came out. It showed that Rick Santorum right. is now winning uh, in, in the polls in Michigan. Mm -hmm. right. And I don't know if you guys know, but Mitt Romney's father, George Romney, was actually the governor of the state in the 60s. So it's one of his home states. I mean, he grew up there, and yet he's losing to uh, to, Santor to Romney. I'm sorry, confused. Losing Romney's behind Rom the polls to Santorum. So many people in this race, yes. Romney's behind in the right. polls to Santorum, losing by five or six points in a state that he should be winning by, Well, you theoretically. Know, now, I think that, you know, with your father having been the governor 50 years ago now, yeah. um, I mean, granted, Romney is from Michigan, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think that the pundits have given enough credit to Santorum, you yeah. know, for, for being able to do this just on his own, you know, and, and Romney, it, I don't think it is his home state necessarily. I think Massachusetts is his home state because that's where he's yeah. done most of, most of his that's work. That's where most people as, sort of associate him Right, with. exactly. We have a clip of, uh, from CNN, uh, they did a story about it, take a look. And it's also true that Mitt Romney's got a lot of work to do. In Michigan, for example, Romney opposed the government-sponsored bailout of the auto industry, even writing a November 2008 op-ed in the New York Times calling for the industry to go bankrupt. Okay, so basically the biggest issue that I saw there was the issue with the auto bailout. Right. So you think that's really hurting him in Michigan? Romney? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, um blue collar workers aren't necessarily in Romney's camp. And you know, Detroit and, and Michigan is still in a really bad economic hole. I mean, things are getting better with the auto bailout, but I think that's really um, detrimental to Romney to say that he didn't support it when, yeah. I mean, politics aside, it did save jobs. Yeah. And it did revive the auto industry. Yeah, it did. You, you uh, saw the uh, Halftime in America yes, commercial. Yes, with Queen Eastwood, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, and that, and. That's where you know the the auto industry is in America. It's in Detroit, mm -hmm. um, and so for Romney to not support those people initially, yeah, it's going to stick in those voters' minds certainly. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think Romney needs to do right now to regain his lead in Michigan and in, elsewhere? You know, I think that for Romney and his camp, um, they've got to stick to what they're good at, and that's the economy. Mm -hmm. um, that's been the platform all along, yeah. and I think he needs to continue riding that train. He does have experience um, with economics, whereas, yeah. and he has that over Santorum. Yeah. So, you know, I Another think... Another thing that he has over uh, Santorum is that, you know, Santorum lost in 2006 in the mm -hmm. Pennsylvania Senate by huge margin, right. 16, 17 points. And that's, you know, no one likes to elect a loser as president. Sure. So Romney yeah. definitely has stuff over him. I think Romney just has, you know, and this has been said over and over again, he just can't connect with those conservative right-wing voters mm -hmm. that he needs mm -hmm. to, you know, get to seal the deal. Yep. Yep. He can't. And Santorum is, is connecting with those voters mm -hmm. to a certain extent. The problem is, though, you know, we're, we're sort of focused on the primary right now. Do you think that Santorum is going to be able to connect with middle-of-the-road voters come the See, general election? That, and I think that's why Santorum has not taken a bigger lead in this primary, is because the middle-of-the-road Republican voters are thinking, well, I'm not going to vote for him for president, so why would I vote for him for the primary? Yeah. And I think, so that's, I think, the GOP's mindset right now with that is that, Romney is very middle of the road, and he'll be able to connect with those middle of the road folks. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I think he's not running like he's middle of the road. He's running to the right to get I think, those voters. I think that if he working. if if he receives the nomination, I think that we'll see that that different side of Romney, that more yeah. centrist side of him. I mean, I've just been seeing poll after poll that it's you know the more people see Romney, the less they seem to like him. Yeah. And I yeah. you know I I initially thought he was going to be a tough contender, but. 
We'll see. Another thing. Yes. Kind of on the funny side, uh, Romney's getting a lot of flack from dog owners. <laughs> you saw the you yeah, saw the, clip. I, yeah, I, yeah. the Westminster uh, dog show was this week. We have a clip from uh, some protesters outside. Take a look at that. You have a problem riding on the roof? It's that old story again about the time back in 1983 when Mitt Romney took his family on vacation with his Irish setter Seamus in a dog carrier tied to the car roof. He made a windshield for the dog. Oh, did he really? Made a windshield for a dog? Yeah. That's very nice. Okay, so is this going to be an issue or are people going to forget about this? No, week? I don't think it's an issue. I mean, you know, the, <laughs> I think that yeah, uh, dog owners aren't going to be happy, but it's not going to be a deciding factor in the election. There's no way. Yeah. Um, I don't know, though. Kind of makes me mad, to be honest. Well, I'm, a dog, dog I'm a dog lover myself, Who but you know, I don't think you can get on the guy for, um, I don't think you can get on the guy for, for you know, saying he's unelect unelectable because. The thing is, though, the thing is, though, in politics, these things matter. I mean, they, they when you. I wish politics were about the issues and only the issues because that's Here, what matters, but it's more yeah, than that. And here's the thing that I think with that is that Romney is so squeaky clean in his background that people have been looking yeah. for a way to get at him and they're thinking that this is it. This is it. This he's, is the only opportunity that we're going to have. Had one sip of beer. Yeah. And smoked a cigarette <laughs> once when he was a kid and yeah. never did it again. Yeah. BA over there. Yeah. Got a BA. You know, I, I, think that, I think that he even may have jaywalked one time. Oh my. I know. We don't know anything about this guy. But no, I mean, my point is that these these little things become big things. I was reading an article about that whole incident, and um, basically, uh, they noticed that the dog uh, had an accident on top of the car. Mitt Romney pulls into a service station, gets a hose, and just sprays him down. And someone said, this represents what Romney's good at, emotion-free crisis management. <laughs> that goes into a bank capital issue with you know, the firing of people. <laughs> That's interesting, and I that, heard that. Yeah, my point is that it ties into the idea, Mitt Romney you know, is like Romney bot, you know? Right. Like you can't connect with voters. Right, right. So what can you do to connect with voters? Because I know that you, you like Romney. You're a Romney guy. Um, yeah, uh, I think that to connect, you're right, he's not. He's not going to stand up there and be like Obama and just capture people with the mm -hmm. way he speaks. It's just not him. I think the reason he is leading or in second place in whatever recent poll you want to look at um, is because people understand that he knows economics and he know people think that he knows what it's going to take to fix it. Now, if the economy fix. continues to recover, what's going to That's happen? That's my next point. What's the most happen? recent uh, job statistics came really out. Really good. Really yeah. good jobs report. Yeah. Uh, Close to 300,000 jobs gained in January. Unemployment rate continued to go down 8.3. Um, and that's, that's, that's Romney's Alamo, so to speak. That's what he can fall back onto. Anytime he gets into a debate, a debate with Obama or whomever, he can fall on, I know economics, we can get this going. And that's, that's obviously Obama's Achilles heel, too. Right, right, 8.3 it is. is, it shows how bad the economy is when we're excited about 8.3% right. unemployment. And so if the, if the economy continues to to, to go up and get better, then voters don't have anything, ha have any connection yeah. with Romney because they're going to say, well, we're going in the right direction. Why mm -hmm. do we need to fix what's not broken? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. all of these things really are sideshow issues. It's the economy. Yeah. Yep, it you is. Know, people, Absolutely. I really believe people vote with their pocketbooks. They did it in 2008, yeah. and they're going to do it again in yeah. 2012. Another funny side issue, uh, apparently, uh, I showed you this video, yeah. a lot of the presidential candidates on the Republican side are... Uh, pledging to ban pornography, and uh, our friend Conan O'Brien had something to say about it. Newt Gingrich, Rick Santorum, and Mitt Romney all said that if elected president, they would eliminate porn. <laughs> In a uh, related story, President Obama has already been re-elected. <laughs> that is absolute comedic genius right yeah, there. I, Just great I, stuff. I love Conan. Um, <laughs> And you know what? It, that could be a bigger issue than people even realize. You never it know. could be. You never know. People it, love their porn. Pe oh boy. You people love your yeah. porn. I mean, not us though, no. because we're we're upstanding citizens. Right. That's but, right. You know, if the economy recovers, who knows? This might be the biggest <laughs> issue. <laughs> yeah. In the yeah campaign. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, we're gonna leave you guys. It's been a big week in politics, Travis. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. I'm sorry that I didn't get coffee for you. It's okay. It's okay. We'll see you guys next week. Be sure to tune into the show tonight, uh, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Uh, Grady News Source. I'll be bringing you your weather. Yeah. And I'll be anchoring. So get ready for more of me. I hope you guys have a great day. 
Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and keep in touch with our updates. See you guys later. Have a good day.